to Challenge Master episode 18. I'm Milbro, and today's uh, mission is going to be to craft 100 rounds of 9mm ammo, and potential reward is going to be a thousand dukes. And the uh, the penalty if I don't uh, get that successfully done is going to be I can't use 762 ammo for the next uh, episode. So got a bit of uh, stuff on my plate to do. Involving 9mm ammo, um, let's see, I need some coal and nitrate and all that. I know I can make a lot of gunpowder. There's all my nitrate. But, other than that, we... We're finally going to be able to move into the uh, base today. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be able to do that. Just kind of seeing what I can find for bullet casings. If I absolutely have to, I'll start just uh, melting it down into the forge, brass, and lead. But we don't want to exactly do that. I am making some more iron bars, and I am making nails to, in preparation for the boxes. So I don't exactly want to. I don't exactly want to smelt more stuff into the forge uh, without doing all this uh, junk and and I don't want like yo because I'm like I want to move the forge. I finally want to get out and uh, uh, this house. It served me well. It's like it, it really has. It's just that. It's, uh, I just want to move into the base, and, but, but, this house is not going to be completely abandoned. I do have some plans later on for it. And there's all the nails. Just going to do a little bit more wrenching. Let's see. I just want to get these down to bare minimum HP because they're still smelting stuff and... There we go, down to 2 HP, don't smack them. Nothing in that forge, so... Once that's done, we can just take out the... Take out all the, uh, stuff there. But while this is working, let's just... We'll start expediting you know, bullet casings. I do need a lot more uh, clay, so just to uh, queue that up. Actually, stop smelting. The nails are done, and. Yeah, we'll just, uh. Let that smelt in. I do want to pick up some of the, the loot chests that I left around town. But let's go see what the, uh, see the progress on the base I made overnight. I did do a lot of upgrading uh, off camera. As you can see, I've done, I've basically gotten the living area uh, upgraded. I for the f uh, for the future, I will uh, upgrade this stuff to like con upgrade like the support hill, you know, like the the corners to concrete and cover them up with sheets and all that to give them more stability and help out with all that kind of stuff. You know, want I don't want this house get destroyed. Some people will be like, why don't you just separate your your main base from your horde base? I want to have some risk and reward with this stuff, so, um, let's see here. I want to, I don't know if I have to craft these on the workbench, but let's just take a little look-see. No, um, let's, let's try storage. So, definitely craft them on hand. Gonna have a box for st uh, weapons, and we're, yeah, I'd say that will be all good, um, 
have a couple extra storage boxes for for building though, just so I can help uh, keep that stuff uh, filtered out. And I will definitely uh, add some add some supports in here just to support the roof eventually. Want to keep that looking strong. So the question is, where do I want to put all these boxes at? I'd say it would be a decent idea to put this all in the kind of have this be like the center base of the loot and just have the that'll be our trader box and we'll have the uh, food be up top I'm trying to get the subway it's like then like once I get all this stuff going we'll have all the Okay. We'll just make one more storage box for kinda keep it symmetrical, but there we have it. Nice centralized loot storage. You'll look very nice he'll be very nice just putting stuff in, so I'd say for ammo stuff, we'll just put it in coal, gunpowder, and all that, and then general building stuff, we'll, your know, general resources, we'll just keep in here, and then we'll keep frames separate out from a lot of other stuff, but, so like, this will be the frames box, and these couple boxes might not get used for too much, but it's no biggie. I would rather have, you know, just a lot more storage space and have all this be... Have this all be, um... You know, can't have too much storage space in this game. And where is my mini bike? Just take a little cruise over here to... First off, the the well bunker because I did uh, leave, leave a bunch of junk uh, sitting in the in the well bunker, and yeah, there's a bunch of weapon parts there. I forgot about a bunch of this. Wow, I forgot some. There's that bone chip I found. So I'm going to just uh, start moving stuff over to the base, and uh, I will uh, catch up once I'm uh, uh, done doing that. It's going to be a little bit of a process. So see you in just a second. Just a little interruption here. If you like what you're seeing and you want to see more, please subscribe and like. It helps me out more than you ever know. Back to the video. And I've just gotten myself moved in. Unfortunately, while moving stuff into the space, I accidentally hit one of the forges. Uh, the forge that was making all my stuff, extracting it, but it's no big deal. I found that I had an extra anvil and everything, so... Not too much of a loss, but the iron bars are kind of... That was That really sucks losing those, but... Nothing that I can't bounce back from, so what just gonna do here is I'm just gonna take the gonna smelt some brass in here into the to this forge what I want to do is I want to take the other forge and just make a smaller wood pile for for it and uh, just split the iron up into two stacks and then we'll just uh, make another anvil for this one and and uh I do need clay though oh, don't forget to put this potato away but yeah it's nice finally having all this stuff kind of just uh, put in uh, put in a nice little storage box and while I'm waiting for that all to smell down and smelt down. I'm actually going to 
I'm just getting, uh, get gunpowder crafting. Finally using the chemistry station, and it's like, so. 22 minutes, 30 seconds. A bit of, uh, overburn on the fuel, but... We'll just uh, set that there, and but what I do is uh, want to go grab some some loot via the well, no, not the loot, but I uh, want to go grab some the clay real quick, and I will go do that, and I'll be back with you in, in just a minute. And I've just put in uh, some clay, got got that all smelting, and. Brasses have finished uh, smelting down, so I might let this uh, lead trophy just get smelted in real quick for uh... there. We go. We got clay smelting in like crazy, so just gonna need. Gonna need a couple more. There we go. Got a hundred bolt casing coming in. Need gonna need to start smelting down more lead though for uh, for bullets. Um, just grab that. We'll actually just kind of let that just go into the forge. So with all that being said, we're gonna go do some looting and pick up some more, uh, stuff if the, uh, let's see. Um, we should be fine on the, uh, on the capacity here. It's like, I could just put it all, I could just dump it all into the chests afterwards, uh, but there was a house that I forgot to, uh, well, I left a, I dumped a whole bunch of loot in while doing the saves a few days ago. And I want to go find it. We're also very close to uh, unlocking steel. Like I have more frames crafted up for for uh, upgrading blocks to uh, get that XP required because I really want that stuff. Uh, really want that steel. It's like in the last episode, I was kind of wondering to myself. I'm like, why are you even making the? Uh, why are you even making the? This stuff when you can just do the, uh, uh, what am I trying to say? You know, like, why are you making more steel fire axe, well, more iron fire axes when you can you know, just uh, get more, uh, when you're, you know, like, when you're about to get steel. Uh, but, you know, I was just kind of thinking about salt to that. I'm like, a little bit ironic, but it's okay. And, you know, some people may be wondering. Ground's kind of glitching out a little bit. Let's grab more cobblestone because I need to make more uh, for. Uh, I need to make more cobblestone for the old uh, base uh, foundation. So, as I was saying, it's like making more iron pickaxes because uh, uh, one thing about the iron pickaxe is I'm pretty sure if you max it out on levels and then you go full Meyer 69er on it, it's, uh, it'll do over 100 block damage. And there's a project that's it's it's off at the distance right now, but uh, let's just say I really want to do that. Do that one. How do I fix this? It's a little irritating for. Hang on here. I might have to just uh, reload the world for that one, but I'm not too uh, disgruntled by it. It's, uh, speak of the devil, it's still fire axe. But yeah, it's one of those I just want to. I'm kind of. I still have a use for the iron pickaxe. It has a, it has a faster swing speed and. And the steel pickaxe and can be useful in some cases where it's like you have blocks that only have uh, 100 HP and all that. So just gonna throw some more junk in here. 
I think I had some good stuff out of it. Got some good stuff out of that. Damn, two shot that tree. Just do a little bit of looting. Uh, see if we can also find some zombies, because I invested uh, some points into 9mm crafting, so. Hey, Nancy, good to see you. Come on, sweet. One of those, I just want that level up. It's like I'm only like five points of five points off of it so we got curly here gotta be careful of him he hits like a truck although I do have iron armor on come on come here there you go which is uh how far am I off the level up hi uh, hi uh crawler my bad, I forgot about his name, uh, the sweat. Come here. There's our level up, excellent. We got Mikey. How are you doing on this uh, kind of fine evening, good sir? Or afternoon, whatever you want to call it. There you go, buddy. There's Seca Steve. Good to see the gang. There you go. Well, thank you for the mushroom spore. Reminds me, I should get a farm going sometime. Got some seeds uh, hanging out and... Question is, did I ever... I know I raided this to uh, pop and pills once before and loot respawns enabled. But did I ever pick up the... Did I ever... I don't remember... No, I didn't. I actually go grab the, uh, wrench out of the... I'm not focused on the, uh, pop pills at the moment, it's... That's a loot and spree I can... That's something I can take care of later. I'll be a, uh, wandering horde. I'm trying to think, do I want to fight them, or do I want to... They'll probably just keep wandering over to the base, so... Not exactly worried about them, so... I just want the chemistry station for... Just to have, uh, an extra. Oh, a girly. Just, uh, just hop on the old mini bike and, and drive away. It seems like a chicken move, but I'm sure they'll roam over and, uh, say hello to me again. One of those, I'm just like, I want to get my ammo crafted and everything. Oh no, one of those, not try to disrespect the zombies. It's like, they can say hello to me at my, at my new base. Oh, nice to be able to come to this and actually move in. Ah. Jump up here. Just a couple ladders. How's the forge looking? You got all the got all that crafted up and Oh not the lead. Um make another seventy five casings. Just to let you do your business. You can have a little bit extra iron in you. And voila, we can uh, make another uh, anvil. The anvils are cheap in the uh, relatively cheap in the long run. So uh, let's put the gun parts back first before I forget before I forget about them. And I do have a closed chest here just to kind of keep that stuff. Uh, Separated from like tools and everything, and place the other chemistry station. So, yeah, that looks like a good spot. Opposite the other one. You're still working away on guns and gunpowder. Very nice. And just grab the rest of the loot from the from the tower for the mini bike here. Can't 
quite take all of it, but I'm gonna just uh, get the rest of this loot away, and I'm going to put in the, and I'm gonna do some more upgrades, and we'll let you know once I got steel and have my nine millimeter crafted, but for the challenge. And I've got my 100 rounds of 9mm crafted, which is a mission success, and I have also gotten construction tools to level 40, so we have officially unlocked level 1 of steel smithing. And if I really want to, wanted to, I could just uh, invest into the uh, invest 60 more points into this, but I don't think I'll be needing this because I will be ending the series on day 35. I've said that before, but it's one of those. It's like be ending it there, and I don't think we'll be in that much need. So and gonna grab some more clay and uh, I did forget to grab myself a couple of uh, the meat stew voila and from the last episode and I and my reward was what what was it the the episode the it was for I cannot remember anymore. So, but anyways, I'll remember to do that on the uh, on the overnight. Uh, but it is uh, still the base is still a little bit of work in progress. But in terms of aesthetics up here, but like I am playing really just putting windows in and all that. But I'm really happy to be moved into the space and just. I am just adding a little bit extra support for the base just to can't forget that one. But yeah, I'd say this has been a very successful episode. We're finally into the Age of Steel uh and actually let's just uh we can make three two steel, but for now let's just Make it make the 20 steel, and that is nighttime. So how much? How long is that gonna take? Just gonna take <laughs> two minutes. Uh, so definitely gonna need more iron for the uh, overnight, but successful episode. Very, uh, very happy with this progress, and I'm gonna leave it here. I hope you guys. Uh, and all uh, enjoyed, and I hope you all subscribe and uh, take care, everybody.